it's a it's sort of palpably in the air uh, in terms of the kind of experience I had culturally uh, growing up where I did in the family I did and with the family history that we have my grandparents had huge families uh, many of whom did not come to America and all of whom perished in one way or another because of the Holocaust. I remember in about 1958 my father and I sat down to watch um, a TV show on WNEW Channel 5 in New York City and the name of the show was Remember Us and it was a documentary about the camps. I think students need to look internally and to look externally and I think it's really important for students to make what I like to call important work. Most of my inspiration comes from past experiences and like values I hold true to myself. Um, I recently worked on a sculpture that was about like the tradition of fathers teaching their sons uh, life skills. And so just uh, part of my life is I like to put into my work. People often come up to me and respond to my work and they say that it's beautiful. And I consider that a, a great compliment when someone says it to me. But they almost always retract the statement immediately and are embarrassed and then apologize for having told me that the work is beautiful. Visual appeal hopefully will bring the viewer closer to the subject. You know, the story needs to be told. The survivors, most of them are gone.